Okay, so question 11 is just like question 8, 9, and 10. We're going to find the x and y intercept, and we'll just do it the same way. Uh, so we'll imagine we were about to graph it, okay? Uh, it's nice to have a, a graph nearby. It doesn't have to be an empty one like mine, but um, or a blank one. But so, you know, if you were to graph this, you would just plug 0 in for x and 0 in for y, and then you would calculate each intercept, okay? And then, of course, we're going to stick them on the graph just to make sure that we've decided which is the right one, the x-intercept or the y-intercept. But in any case, when x is 0, we plug 0 in for x, and then when y is 0, we plug 0 in for y. The trick here is to just do one step at a time. So don't try to do both at the same time, you'll get confused. When x is 0, you plug 0 in for x. So it's 12 times 0 plus 15y equals 60 and then you calculate that 0 plus 15y or just 15y equals 60 y has been multiplied by 15 so we need to divide both sides by 15 and that gives us y equals how many 15's in 60? 15, 30, 45, 60, 4 of them right? so we found that when x is 0 and I plug that in the equation I get y is 4 so for this equation, when the x value is 0, the y value is 4. Okay? And that's a point on the line or, or in, in the equation. right? Now when y is 0, what happens? We plug 0 in for y. So that's 12x plus 15 times 0 equals 60. right? So when y is 0, we get this. 12x plus 15 times 0 equals 60, and then solve that, and what do you get? 15 times 0 was what? 0. So we just have 12x equals 60, right? And then just divide by 12 on both sides, and we get x equals how many 12s in 60? 12 and 60 goes 5 times, so we have x is 5, right? So when y is 0, x is 5. So here's our points, and if we we have the point, each point each is a point x y and the, so we got zero four we got five zero right, and if we put these points on a coordinate, uh, uh, plot these points on a coordinate graph, zero coordinate grid actually zero four x so this is our x axis this is our y axis so x is zero y is four that is here. 0, 4. x is 5, y is 0. Where is that? Where is 5, 0? x is 5, y is 0, that's here. Okay. And then we draw a line through the points. Right? Draw a line to the points, and that's well. You don't have to, of course, because you just ask ask for the x and y intercept. But the point is that this point zero four is on the y axis, so that has to be the y intercept. Oops, sorry. Let me just write that better. The y intercept. This point five zero is on the x axis, so that has to be the x intercept.